Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about my favorite cream blushes. I've got my top five. They are not ranked in any way because that was just too hard. So these are my top five favorite cream blushes. Uh, and I'm not talking about liquid blushes. I'm only talking about cream blushes. I find them to work very differently. They also have uh, a different effect on the cheeks. And so, I don't know, I just didn't want to kind of cram it all into one video here. So we're only talking about cream blushes. And if you are interested in liquid blushes, let me know down below in the comment section and I'd be happy to do a video like this for liquid blushes. So uh, we're gonna be talking about my five favorite formulas. Uh, I'm gonna be swatching for you all the shades that I have in the formulas. I'll probably mention here and there some of my favorite shades, but I really love all of the shades that uh, come in all of these formulas that I have. And the color that I choose to use just sort of depends on the look that I'm going for and the other makeup that I have on. So it didn't seem like it would make sense to kind of pick out favorite colors. So anyway, I'm gonna be talking about my top five favorites. I'm also gonna be throwing in an honorable mention because there is one that I have been really enjoying, but it's very new to my collection. So I'm like, I don't know if it makes the cut. I am currently enjoying it, so I thought I would mention it but I don't know if it's like one of my all-time favorites. Um, and I'll also be showing you some cutaways of me actually applying all of these blushes, and I'll let you know also what I ended up with and what's on my cheeks now. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the Trini London uh, cream blush options. So she has two, uh, lip to cheek, which is a formula that you can use on your lips and your cheeks. Um, and then she has flush blush, which is meant just for your cheeks, but you can use it for both. Um, I don't find that much of a difference uh, in the formula, so I'm gonna be talking about them all kind of in the same way. Um, but here are some swatches, at least, of the colors that I do have. She has a really beautiful, like, wide range of shades for um, actually all of her products. Really just gorgeous line. If you guys have not tried Trini London, it's some good stuff, really good stuff. So here are the swatches. So from left to right, we have the Lip to Cheek in Chloe. Then we have the Lip to Cheek in Freddie. And then we have the lip to cheek in Sharon. And then all the way over on the right, we have the flush blush formula in Schmoogie. So here in this cutaway, I'm applying the Freddie lip to cheek shade. And this shade I really, I mean, I do love all of the shades. This one I chose just because it's just, it's such a unique kind of shade because it has a burnt quality to it, but it's not terribly warm. There's like a coolness to it. There's like a red in there with like a little bit of a pink. So on my skin tone, I feel like it gives me that kind of like doll cheek look. It's just really beautiful. Um, but the formula of these Trini Londons, these are probably out of all the ones I'm talking about, the most powdery or the driest, I don't wanna say the driest because I feel like that has a negative connotation, but they have the most powdery kind of uh, formula to them. They're still very, very creamy, but they're not quite as emollient as some of the other ones I'm talking about. All of the formulas I'm gonna be talking about sit very, very well over powder, and I actually prefer applying cream blush over powder. I just feel like it helps with the longevity, and I get a true sense of the uh, shade instead of putting it down and then putting powder on top of it. I feel like it mutes it, and then it's like, oh, I should have put more on. Anyway, I like applying it um, over powder. And again, all the formulas I'm going to be talking about sit very well over powder and all the cutaways I'm doing, I am applying them over powder. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, but because this Trini London formula is a little bit on the drier side, it does work exceptionally well over powder. And if you're someone like myself who likes applying them over powder, you'll just see that it kind of blends in beautifully. And this formula stays put. It's easy to apply. You're going to be hearing me say the same things kind of over and over again for all of these cream blushes because I do love them for a lot of the same reasons. But I did want to mention the Trini London because I have really, really been enjoying these. The next cream blush I wanted to mention is the Clay de Peau cream blush. So let's start with some swatches. I only have two shades here. Uh, so first we have number two, and then we have number four. And in this cutaway, I'm actually applying number two, which I believe the name of it is called Pale Fig. So I'm applying that to my cheeks, and you'll see that it is, uh, or can be very, very pigmented. I picked up quite a bit with my finger, but you can also apply them in a very sheer way. And I applied all of these blushes in my cutaways with my fingers just for consistency sake uh, for this video. But all of them except for one, which I'll point out, I think can be used with your fingers and a brush very, very easily. So what I love about the Clay de Peau blushes is the formula has a really beautiful sheen to it, almost like a light highlighter sheen. Just leaves your um, cheeks looking really, really kind of healthy and glowy. And the texture of the Clay de Peau is it's interesting because it's almost like a cream to powder kind of formula, um, but it 
blends out just really easily. Like there's no kind of uh, like sticking to it. It really just kind of glides over powder, under powder. It just glides on really, really smoothly. It's actually surprising because when you put your finger in there, like, yeah, it feels like a cream, but it doesn't feel like super emollient, but it kind of acts like it is. It has a really nice slip and it has great staying power. Like all of the ones that I'm gonna be talking about, this also has some great staying power. And I really enjoy the Clay de Peau. There's just something very easy to use about the Clay de Peau. Next up, this will come as no surprise, but I wanted to talk about the Tower 28 uh, Beach Please uh, Lip and Cheek Tints, I think they're called. So I have all six of the colors, um, but today I decided to use Happy Hour, which is probably, yeah, which is like the most pink out of them all. So let me go ahead and do some swatches for you. So from left to right, we have Golden Hour, Rush Hour, Happy Hour, After Hours, Magic Hour, and Power Hour. And like I mentioned, I'm swatching the Happy Hour shade. And again, this is the most pink. These Tower 28 blushes, this formula is, out of all the ones I'm talking about, the most emollient. So it really feels like a lip balm when you put your finger in. And that definitely scared me when I first, you know, tried to use these. And I thought, oh wow, are these gonna be kind of like a sticky mess on my cheeks? And it was such a pleasant surprise <laughs> to use these products because it sets down on your cheeks, not like a, it's not like a cream to powder formula, but they set down so that they're not sticky at all. I mean, you can feel them just a little bit, but it's not like anything where your hair is gonna stick to them or anything. I think the formula of these Tower 28 uh, cream blushes are the most unique. They're just the most surprising. They're very, very pigmented, so I would definitely be careful with them. Um, I can use them over powder, under powder. I can use them with my finger. Uh, because they are so emollient, this is the one formula I, I personally don't like using with a brush. You can, for sure, but I just feel like it's a little kind of gooey for a brush. Um, I prefer using pretty much any of the other formulas I'm going to be talking about with a finger or brush. With the Tower 28, I definitely again, personally, and I would recommend this, uh, just using your finger. I mean, they just blend out like a dream with your finger. So that's the Tower 28, and yeah, I just, I love all the shades, I really do. There's not one that I feel like sticks out more than the others. They're all really, really beautiful. All right, next I wanted to talk about Kier Weiss. So Kier Weiss has a cream blush line with the most incredible colors. I mean, there's so many and they're all so beautiful. Um, I have four of them, so let me show you the swatches of the four that I have. Uh, the first is Above and Beyond. Next is Desired Glow. Then we have Sun Touched. And then finally is a shade that I actually have to look up because I don't know the name of it, but I'll either pop it on the screen right here or uh, put it down below in the description box or both. So those are the four shades that I have. I decided to put on Desired Glow. Um, so that's what you see uh, me applying in this uh, cutaway. It is the most nude out of all the shades that I have. I decided to go for nude since all the other shades I've been using are, are pretty, um, are pretty bright. So Cure Weiss is a 100% organic beauty line and I had not had great luck with clean or organic beauty brands up until I started using Cure Weiss. Her products are so elevated and just so impeccable. Her cream blush is probably one of the first cream blushes out of all the brands, not just clean organic brands, but out of all the brands that I use that I really, really fell in love with. They apply so beautifully. And again, over powder, under powder, with finger, with brush, they apply so beautifully and they last all day. No matter how you apply them, no matter how much you put on, um, they just build beautifully. They blend out beautifully. I love, I love these cream blushes from Cure Weiss. And like I mentioned, uh, they come in some of the most amazing shades. I would one day love to amass the entire line of her cream blushes, um, but because it's a cream product, because <laughs> she's an organic beauty brand, they would just go bad before I was able to use them. So I've settled on these four and I couldn't be happier. They are really, really beautiful. All right, and the last cream blush I wanted to mention in my top five here, I wonder if you guys can guess, uh, but this is the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. So I have uh, five shades and I think, is that all of them? She either has five or six, but I think I may have all the shades. Anyway, let me go ahead and do some swatches for you. So first we have Chouchette, then we have Bichette, then we have Minette, Petal, 
and then pop it. So in this cutaway, I'm applying Pop It, which is the really, really bright fuchsia color. And it is, you know, it's too difficult. It's too, I was about to say that it's my favorite shade. <laughs> it's too difficult, too difficult to choose. Um, but I love this Pop It shade. I think it's very unique. I think it's one of those shades that looks really great on a whole like slew of different skin tones with different uh, undertones. Like it just works for a lot of skin tones. The formula of this Westman Atelier uh, blush stick is, uh, it's very similar. I feel like it's kind of a mashup between the Kira Weiss and the Clay de Peau. It behaves very similarly to the Clay de Peau. I feel like it applies very similarly. It's not like nearly as emollient as the Tower 28. You can definitely use a brush with these. I really like using a brush with these. They go on beautifully with your finger as well. Um, but they're kind of between like the Clay de Peau and the Kira Weiss. Um, because the Cure Weiss is a little bit more emollient, not nearly, again, as emollient as the tw Tower 28, but it's a little bit more emollient than the Clay de Peau. And I find that the Westman Atelier is just a hint more emollient than the Clay de Peau. So it glides on really, really beautifully, you know, blends out beautifully. It just looks really seamless on your cheeks and you can build up areas of the blush um, that you want maybe like a little bit more pigment. So I usually kind of uh, build up like the apples of my cheeks just to give me some extra like pop there. And these blushes, again, are just, they're just really beautiful. I love the shade range. I love the formula. Um, I love the fact that they're in a stick. I find that very easy to use. Um, so those are my five favorite uh, cream blush formulas. And my honorable mention is the new Hourglass Vanish Blush Sticks. So here are swatches of all six of the shades. So from left to right, we have Devoted, Adore, Loyal, Sacred, Revel, and Wonder. And in this cutaway, I am applying Revel, which is this warm scarlet kind of color. And when you blend it out onto your cheeks, it has this kind of like watermelon juice kind of appearance. I love it. I have been using this Revel shade a lot, but I really like this formula. It is a cream to powder. So it definitely has like a matte appearance. It's like a lighter weight version of the Trini London. It is very, very kind of like weightless. It almost just sort of like applies and it feels like it's just sort of like hanging out on top of your skin, but not, not in that bad way where you feel like you're just gonna, you know, swipe it away or it's not gonna last all day. It lasts all day on my cheeks. I didn't feel like I had to touch it up. It's really quite beautiful. And for someone like myself who likes a little bit of a sheen to their cheek products at least, um, I was surprised at how much I enjoy these like matte cream blushes. So I did want to mention those, but again, this is just an honorable mention. I have to spend more bonding time with the Hourglass uh, blush stick. So. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know um, if you're in agreement with any of my choices. Let me know if there are some uh, formulas that you really enjoy that I didn't mention. Maybe I don't have them. Maybe I need to run out and get them. Let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.